Good evening and welcome to the project information meeting for the State Road 435 Kirkman Road resurfacing project that begins at State Road 482 Sand Lake Road and continues to south of the State Road 408 interchange. Heidi Trivet is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager. Matthew Gibbs is the project manager for Comprehensive Engineering Services Incorporated, a consultant firm working with the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's public meeting is to share information about the proposed project and to provide time to answer questions with interested parties. There will be a brief overview of the project and afterward you are encouraged to view the exhibits and ask questions. If you did not receive a project information flyer previously in the mail, please feel free to take one from the sign-in table. This meeting is being held to afford all citizens the right to understand the project and comment on concerns to the Florida Department of Transportation. The meeting is being held to comply with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 as amended. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI and or Title VIII may do so by contacting the FDOT District 5 Title VI and VIII Coordinator Jennifer Smith, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, or the Florida Equal Opportunity Office. 605 Swanee Street, Room 260, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in an expeditious manner. This project is being conducted by FDOT District 5 in compliance with all applicable federal environmental laws and pursuant to 23 U.S.C. 327 and the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding between FDOT and the Federal Highway Administration, signed on December 14, 2016 with the FDOT Office of Environmental Management in Tallahassee as the approving authority. For the latest project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website was created by the Florida Department of Transportation to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. I encourage you to visit this website, which now contains hot links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the State Road 435 Kirkman Road resurfacing project. The limits of this project are along State Road 435 Kirkman Road, from State Road 482 Sand Lake Road, to south of the State Road 408 interchange. The primary goal of this project is to resurface and rehabilitate the asphalt pavement to extend the longevity of the roadway. Roadside and drainage improvements will also be completed within the right-of-way to enhance safety and operations along the corridor. At several locations throughout the corridor, Pedestrian or bicycle features will be reconstructed, modified, or added to improve safety and or accessibility. Signalized intersection improvements and upgrades will be performed and all bus stops will be enhanced. Through coordination with the City of Orlando and Metro Plan Orlando, a shared use path is also being added through a portion of the corridor. 
The pavement resurfacing effort will improve the roadway surface by eliminating deteriorated pavement and any wheel path rutting. New stripes and pavement markings will also be provided throughout the limits of the project. Reconstruction and rebuilding of the side street and driveway curb lines will also be included to help alleviate existing drainage and ponding issues. The resurfacing efforts at driveways will be limited to the existing right-of-way. The pavement removal includes reducing the 11-foot wide southbound paved shoulder area between Carrier Drive and International Drive to 5 feet in width. Also, the radius in the northeast corner of Carrier Drive is to be reduced, which will help reduce the pedestrian crosswalk length at State Road 435 Kirkman Road. Several roadside and drainage safety improvements are planned to coincide with the resurfacing project efforts. These include regrading the ground next to the roadway and overbuilding the existing pavement to reduce future rutting or shoulder pavement failures. At and between Sand Lake Road and Carrier Drive, isolated segments of existing curb will be removed. Paved shoulders will be widened and guardrail will be extended to improve roadside safety. Multiple isolated drainage improvements will also be completed throughout the project limits to alleviate erosion issues and provide a flatter, safer roadside condition for pedestrians and vehicles. The existing concrete box culvert located south of L.B. McLeod Road will also be desilted and recoded to extend the service life. The proposed drainage improvements will also accommodate the proposed shared use path. Bicycle feature improvements include adding bike lane keyholes between the outside through lane and right turn lane at Carrier Drive for the northbound and southbound directions and northbound only at the International Drive intersection. After resurfacing, the pavement stripes will be installed to provide six foot wide outside bike lanes between Conroy Road and County Road 526, Old Winter Garden Road. Pedestrian feature improvements include replacing and or reconstructing sidewalk to improve sidewalk curb ramp slopes to meet current design criteria separate single ramps into dual ramps at signalized intersections and provide wider sidewalks where it is currently less than four feet wide. Adding detectable warning surfaces at qualifying locations will also be included. Additionally, all existing handrail will be evaluated and will be upgraded, removed, or installed as necessary. Signalized intersection improvements include installing pedestrian crosswalks across all approach legs. Six new signalized crosswalks will be provided across State Road 435. A total of 32 existing single shared pedestrian ramps are planned to be removed and replaced with dual ramps such that each will serve one crosswalk. The resurfacing effort will also upgrade vehicle detection loops. Bus stop improvements include installing a raised boarding and a lighting area for 21 existing bus stops within the project limits. Five new bus bays will also be constructed and two existing bus bays will be relocated from right turn lanes. Existing bus stop benches and shelters will be retained. A shared use path is also planned for installation as part of this project. The limits will be along the east side of State Road 435 Kirkman Road from L.B. McLeod Road to Raleigh Street and along the south side of Metro West Boulevard from Kirkman Road to 1,500 feet east of Kirkman Road, where it will connect into the existing shared use path 
just east of the Metro West Boulevard Bridge. The path will be a 10-foot wide asphalt path and is being installed at the request of the City of Orlando and Metro Plan Orlando. The plans are on schedule to be completed in summer 2018. The design cost related to this project is approximately $1,800,000 and the current construction estimate is $15 million. The construction funding year is currently 2019. There are three options if you would like to make a comment or have a question that will become part of the project file. The first is if you are in attendance at the meeting, comment sheets are provided. Please place your comment sheets in the box near the doorway. The second option is to take a comment sheet and mail it before November 27, 2017. The third option is to access the project link at www.cflroads.com website and click on the comment link. This concludes the presentation of the State Road 435 Kirkman Road Resurfacing Project. Thank you for your interest, and we appreciate you taking the time to attend tonight's public information meeting. For additional information, please contact Heidi Trivet at 386-943-5466. Or send an email to Heidi.Trivet at dot.state.fl.us. You can also contact Matthew Gibbs at 407 423 1600, extension 226, or email at mgibbs at cescivil.com. This presentation will begin again in approximately one minute.